So while I was scavenging my local Craigslist listings for potential computers for my next video, I found something that caught my eye, and I just couldn't resist but to buy it. So I sent the seller an email, made the trip, and lo and behold, here it is. This thing is thick. I mean, look at that. Got a USB. I don't even know what this is. Is that SATA? This is back when we you got what you paid for it when you bought a laptop. Whoa. Huh. Isn't that cute? The seller put a little Windows 10 sticker on there. It's not the official one. The official one looks like this. 9800 MGS. We got half a gigabyte of VRAM. Centrino 2, so maybe that means it's a Core 2 Duo? If it's a Core 2 Duo, that's great, because I'm at 64-bit. I don't know what's in this thing, though. So let's turn this thing on. Look at that gaming glow. <laughs> it has a startup sound. That's cute. Owner. Yeah, that's right. I own this machinery. Okay, we are in. What the? There's so much bloatware. I tell you what, this is a nice keyboard. Nice keyboard. That is customary with stuff I have no idea what it is. Let's validate it. If it's 32-bit, I'm gonna cry. What a plot twist if this is... Oh. Oh, we have a DVD drive. I didn't even notice that. Please, be 64-bit. Yes! That's me. I had the desktop version of this chip in one of my very old computers. I think you guys know what's next. Yeah, for gits and shiggles, I'll validate it so you guys can have a look at it later. There's the link if you want to look at this. Well, as customary for any gaming product, or not gaming product on this channel. We're gonna throw it through the ringer and benchmarks and see what this thing can or can't do. Yeah, so benchmark time. See you there. Starting off with Rocket League, this thing tried its best to start the game, but after 12 minutes of effort, it gave up. Cyberpunk, as a shock to no one, was no different. GTA 5 started, running at the minimum settings, the thing had a high that wasn't that bad for the age of the hardware, getting 87 at the best, 0 at the worst, and 20 most of the time. I think this thing is capable of doing much better if it didn't have this ancient drive struggling to keep up. In Overwatch 2, the GPU is too old so it also didn't start. BeamNG requires DirectX 11 and the GPU just doesn't support it, so it didn't start. And in CS2, the CPU lacked an instruction set, so it also didn't start. In Portal 2, despite the drive really chugging to keep things going smoothly, this machine put out a playable experience at 1080p getting 72 at the best, 15 at the worst, and 30 most of the time. I'm not too sure what was going on with Minecraft, but it just wouldn't download, so I just have to say it didn't start. TF2 ran, however, it really struggled to put out anything enjoyable, especially when a lot was going on. I had to dial the settings all the way down to the lowest resolution I could set, and even still, this thing just struggled to keep going. But it gave its all with 153 at the best, 0 at the worst, and 22 most of the time. So in the end, it's pretty clear that this thing is put into a pretty tight box considering the age of the hardware. However, during the entire time I was benchmarking it, I couldn't help but think that this thing it has an arm tied behind its back. As you could tell, um, in the games that it did run, it really struggled to load. However, this thing has a lot of potential to be upgraded. You can upgrade every single part in this computer. So if you guys want to see it, you'll have to let me know but I'm willing to do a part two to this video and just upgrade every single part and see what we can squeeze out of this machine. Let's taper expectations though, because the ethernet on here is incredibly slow, but offline, I think this thing could become a very good mid 2010s gaming machine. So if you guys wanna see that, where we just upgrade every single part, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And if you guys like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you wanna see more, cause it tells me I'm doing a good job. Appreciate everyone for the support lately, and I'll see you in the next one. I should match these up. Hmm, I got it. Yes! Alright, that's it.